Hi, thanks for coming to my channel. This is Midnight Moon Tarot, and I'm Diana. This reading is for the astrological sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, or anywhere in your birth chart that Scorpio might appear. Also, if you're new to my channel, I'd like to take just a second and invite you to subscribe and click that little bell so that you're sure to be notified whenever I upload new content. Also, in the description box below, you'll find links to my social media, my Patreon, my PayPal, and links to some really cool things on Amazon I think you guys will like. Okay, so this reading is for the last 10 days of June 2020, keeping in mind that all tarot readings are timeless. So whether you come across this reading right after I upload, a week, month, or even a year from now, if you feel drawn to watch it, most likely you will find a message for you within the reading. And if it doesn't completely resonate with you, <clears throat> Keep in mind, sorry, I just drank some lemonade right before I started. If it doesn't completely resonate with you, uh, you know, keep in mind that this is a generalized reading. So if you have your other planetary placements, you can listen to those signs as well for additional messages. Okay. I swallowed wrong just a minute ago. I was about to choke to death. Okay. My eyes are watering. <laughs> So let's ask Spirit for any messages for Scorpio for the last 10 days of June 2020. Spirit, what love messages do you have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising Venus, and Jupiter for the last 10 days of June 2020? One more. One more. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and divide these into three stacks. Alright. The card on the bottom of the deck is the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so this is the overall energy for your read. And as we go through your spread, I'm going to tell you how this card's going to relate to the different cards that come up. And of course, the Ten of Pentacles is about home and prosperity and security and love and all of those things that are important to all of us, especially in this day and age. All right, now, and for those of you who are new here, I do four rows. And the first row relates to you, uh, things that you might have just experienced, things you're currently dealing with, and, uh, you know, opportunities, people, and situations that are coming towards you. The <clears throat> second column is representing your twin flame, your soulmate, your karmic partner, your divine counterpart. This could be an ex that you feel you still feel those really strong soul ties with. Uh, it might be somebody you just met. And generally, it's the person that you think of the most, the one you're thinking about when you wake up in the morning, and the last person you're thinking about when you go to sleep at night. All right, now the third column is your um, obstacles, challenges, fears, anxieties, that type of thing. And in your outcome, all right, we have, and the fourth column is your outcome. All right, so, yeah, ooh. All right, we have the magician as well as the five of pentacles. And that tells me that, you know, you may have experienced some type of loss. You may be feeling reminiscent, and I've said this during all of these readings lately. It is eclipse season. We are right in the middle of the eclipse season. There is a solar eclipse coming up as well as we have, we've already had one lunar eclipse and we're about to have another. And then we're going to have another eclipse, the lunar eclipse on July 5th. And this is causing, along with several other retrogrades that are going on, and it's causing us all to like revisit and to maybe reminisce about uh, situations. Maybe if you're in a relationship right now, like the way they were before life happened and you maybe don't have as much time for the other person or they don't have as much time for you or maybe you're feeling ignored or maybe you're feeling a little bit lost but what you're doing by revisiting and thinking about these good times and these good situations even if it is a, a love that you're no longer with you thinking about this 
in a positive way, reminiscing about those good times that you have with that person. Uh, yeah, you're actually manifesting this to come back around in your life again. All right, so your partner, Scorpio, uh, and you as well, uh, it, you know, you're, you're going to reach out. You're going to have that communication. You're going to have that dialogue about, you know, I really miss, I really regret, I really want uh, things to be better again. You have these two of these two cups right behind him, even though he's mourning of the loss of these three. I am interfering with the light here. Okay, yeah, so those two of cups. The two of cups is about reconciliations. It's about, uh, you know, making things work again. It's about uh, reunifications and, you know, bringing back that love and that respect. Is that equality between the two people? And reaching out to your person, you're going to find that they are so relieved that you are doing it as well. Uh, now, of course, this uh, this page of cups here is uh, I'm feeling that it's representing you, but I'm also feeling Pisces really strong. I don't know if your uh, partner is another water sign. Could be, you know, you might be dealing with another water sign. Now, in your uh, obstacles and challenges, you have this queen of wands and you have the king of swords. And so you may have found yourself in this oppositional this point in your relationship with this person where, you know, you're a little too fun-loving and a little too aggressive and you feel like your partner is a little too stodgy and they want to steal your joy and your happiness and they're too bogged down and, and stuff like that. And, you know, they are more logical <laughs> Okay, uh, then it'd be like it'd be like it was Star Trek or something, you know. If you were this fun-loving, uh, adventurous person, and you're gonna go have this adventure with Spock or something, you know, it's that kind of feeling. This this person, they just don't have fun anymore. They're either working or they're building that future, or they are sitting back, <laughs> you know. And, uh, you know, because they're more focused on securing that future. And, uh, you know, yeah, a lot of us have those concerns right now, right? And you're just like, let's go, let's go, let's go. So that may be something that you're facing with your person is that they're not as ready to, uh, you know, open up yet basically but you know you keep you keep offering that love you know you keep showing them that this is who you are and this is where you want to be and there's going to be like I said there's going to be a few obstacles there you're going to have to pull down deep uh, within yourself there's going to be some different things going on in your life Okay? I don't know what they are, and this is a love relationship. There may be some things going on with family or kids or something, but there's uh, there's some kind of feeling there that's going to be a little distracting from what it is that you want to do. And, you know, you, you, you draw on your strength, sometimes that you don't even know that you have, to get through these situations like that. All right, now... When we get over here to your uh, next set of four cards, we have that Queen of Cups as well as the Page of Wands. And your partner is the Hermit and the Death card. <laughs> okay. Uh, your Obstacles and Challenges is the Devil and the Nine of Wands. And your Outcome is the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. Yay. Okay. So a little bit of good luck here. So yeah, just keep being your uh, beautiful, sensual, loving self, nurturing. Take care of your partner a little more. Uh, you know, scratch their back. Uh, cook them an extra nice dinner one night. Do something unexpected. Uh, whatever their love language is, whatever way that they see and perceive love, do that for them. Just make that extra little effort and, uh, you know, just make it happen. Just just do it, okay? With that uh, that page of uh, wands energy, you just, you're going to do it, okay? Now, your partner, they're feeling more and more withdrawn. They are feeling like, you know, I don't know what this personal situation is going on in your life. Maybe you have an elderly parent. Maybe you have a situation going on with your kids or family or something. But it is making your 
partner feel like they need to withdraw within themselves. Uh, you know, it could be the, the ending of a particular era in their life, maybe uh, their career or their job or something has ended. Uh, maybe, you know, with all the things going on econ economically, they've lost their business. But, yeah, it's making them feel like they are withdrawing. But they're using and making this time to look back over and see exactly what it was that led them there. How it, they can uh, continue to move forward. And use that knowledge and not let it happen again to just ensure the safety of their steps moving forward. So, yeah, in your uh, fears and anxieties, you know, you have this devil card here, all right, and you have the nine of wands, which means, okay, you're moving a little cautiously here. You may feel like you're, uh, you're the one that's doing all the giving and taking in this relationship. Now, sometimes the devil talks about toxic relationships, and it talks about, um, you know, addictions, drugs, alcoholism that type of thing. I'm so sorry, I have hiccups. But in certain situations, it means that this is when you need to let your hair down. This is when you need to go ahead and have that fun. Uh, you know, for your own mental health, for your partner's mental health, uh, maybe this is the, the time that you need to, uh, you know, really focus on them and let them know that, that they need to, uh, you know, where did it go? Yeah that they need to uh, have that fun, that they need to relax, they need to, uh, you know, just let go sometimes and move on. And that's what this particular situation feels like. So you really, really need to, you know, encourage your partner because they are feeling very guarded, like, I don't know, whatever it is that's going on is really, really upset them. Maybe we'll find out more about it. So we have the Knight of Pentacles as well the Ace of Pentacles as well as the Knight of Wands. And so this Knight of Wands, this is like you in pursuit of something really, really big. You may be being offered a new job opportunity that's coming about. Uh, there's this Ace of Pentacles in your love relationship could mean that, you know, this is a new opportunity for the two of you. Maybe your partner losing their business, losing their job could be absolutely the best thing that ever happened because it does open up new doorways and it does open up new opportunities that you can use from that and just like you hear all these millionaires and people talk about when they lost everything it was twice as easy for them to do it again because they already knew how to do it and how to make it happen and this is something that the two of you maybe uh, on an adventure could uh, pursue together all right now when we come to yeah when we get to uh okay let's confused there for a minute. Did y'all see my brain quit working for a second? Okay, the King of Cups as well as the Sun. In the Partners column, we have the Eight of Pentacles and the Star. There you go. Uh, in your Obstacles and Challenges, you have the Eight of Wands as well as the Queen of Swords. And in your Outcome, we have the Knight of Swords and the Four of Wands. Okay. All right. King of Cups, yeah, yeah, Scorpio, this is you, this is you making it happen, you had the Queen of Cups earlier, now you have your King here present with you, uh, yeah, this is, the things are looking up, the, the, uh, your luck has arrived, your, um, finances are changing, your world is changing, there's going to be a lot of new growth and opportunity here, you know, after we have that death card, there's always a rebirth, all right, just like after winter, there's spring, just like after death, there's resurrection, there is this new life and this new beginning going on between the two of you, it's going to kind of rekindle that spark between the two of you, and uh, you can only move forward and move ahead with that. And of course, again, reinforcing that, we have the star, which is about that new growth and that new opportunity. It's like going ahead and taking that chance, making yourself vulnerable, you know, washing away all this stuff from the past and, you know, making good use of it in this eight of pentacles, especially in your partner saying, this gives them, is breathing new life into them and they are, you know, buckling down and working harder than ever. It's like they are rejuvenated with these brilliant ideas that they were uh, experiencing, you know. All right, so 
maybe that little hermit card that they had served a purpose and they were able to focus. And you know, sometimes when we're still, the best things, the best ideas come to us. So in your obstacles and challenges, uh, don't be too hasty to make decisions about, uh, you know, what it is you're leaving behind and what you're cutting off. Just take extra time not to be cold and not to be, um, you know, to be more patient when it comes to your partner and the time that they need to work through this because the opportunities that are going to come from this are just going to come really fast and uh, unexpected. And here you have even quicker energy with this Knight of Swords where it's like just strongly, strongly, uh, you know, moving into your life and the two of you will be moving forward. I, and like I said, this is totally rejuvenating and rekindling this relationship between you and your partner. Okay, so just because there may be some things going on in your relationship and, uh, you know, financially or with your family or whatever, it's not anything that uh, it's going to cause permanent damage. And you do have the stability in this future that is waiting for the two of you. Okay, Scorpio, so that is your love reading and apparently uh, finance reading <laughs> for the last 10 days of June 2020. And uh, I just want to tell you guys, thank you so much for all of your comments, likes, shares, subscribes, and for all of your very generous donations. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate that more than you know. And we all know how hard things are economically right now for everyone. So, you know, it's even more appreciated. Not that it's not appreciated as much, but I understand how hard it is. Okay. So, all right, guys. I'll see you guys here soon with your July reads. All right. Until then, bye-bye. I love you.